I believe that we are in a battle and that we are in a fight. And any time that you are involved in a fight, if you, as soon as you get involved with that fight, if you realize if you don't move, you're going to get hit. If you plan on making a change, if you plan on winning, if you plan on coming out on top, when you are involved in any type of battle, you have to move. And I believe that we are in a battle with a entity that we like to call accidents, injuries. We call them uh, fatalities. We call it complacency. There's a lot of different things that we have to deal with. But I want to bring all of those names and all of those titles under one title and call it the enemy. Have you ever been in a fight or you ever wanted to fight somebody when you were younger and they, and they say something? There's one thing. There's always a trigger word that always made everybody want to fight. That word is your mama. <laughs> your mama. You be walking around, hey, man, how you doing, man? Man, you crazy. Those are bad shoes. Your mama. What you say about my mama? And you ready to throw some hands and you ready to fight and get involved. But as soon as you realize you got to start fighting, if you don't move, you're going to get hit. You will be struck. And you will experience some things that will make me challenge you. <laughs> And so what I want to do is enchant and empower you guys to understand if we're going to make this battle and victory and beat the enemy, that we have to move. So what I want to share with you guys today, again, with the Safety Man movement is that we need to move. And what was that first M? Motivate. I want to motivate you today. And so what we have to do is for us to move, when you hear me talk about the word move, I'm going to be referencing these four, uh, these four words. So when we want to move, the first thing it says, motivate your members or lose momentum. You understand we have to have momentum because momentum is where our power is at. Once you start doing some good things, once you start moving forward and making progress, and you, if you haven't had a battering ram, you're trying to get into the door, the way that we knock that door down, the way that we knock down that enemy is having high momentum. But if we aren't willing to motivate our members, we won't be able to do it. We won't be able to move it as efficiently as we could if we weren't using the momentum that we had to move from one level to the next. Now, there's a number of different ways that people are, are get motivated. Let me show you a couple of them. <clears throat> All right. So the first person to make it up here, I, I'm giving this $20 to. First person. Oh, y'all rich. Y'all act like y'all ain't got gas. Okay, he moved. He was motivated. All right, the first person to come up here and get this car, I'll give a free shirt to. All right, what I need you to do is put your information, your shirt size, and I'll make sure I get that to you, all right? Now we come across this thing where we try to motivate people. When we try to use different things like money, and we try to use material and merchandise. But let me show you one last way. If you love your children and or your family, stand on your feet. You see, we had a little bit of people come and try to get some of the money. We had a little people try to come and try to get some of the merchandise. But when you have meaning, it means much more. When it's something that is inside of you and inside of your heart, you will stand up. I didn't have to convince you or coax you into doing anything. When it was something that meant something to you, you moved. You are motivated. So we have to be, understand that we can do things and try to motivate people from moving from where they are to where they need to be by motivating them with things that are meaningful. There's this statement that um, Stephen Covey says in the book, you can have your seats, in, in the book of Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. And it talks about you can buy a person's back, but you cannot buy their mind. You can buy a person's hands, but you cannot buy their heart. We need to make sure that we are doing meaningful things to the people that we're expecting to be a part of this safety culture, to be a part of the, the movement that we're trying to make. We have to begin to take just our safety, our not from our job, just not from our hands, but to our hearts. And when we are doing things that are meaningful to people, they are more apt to be a part of what we're trying to do. See, money motivates, yes. I can get your hands. The material things will, will make you move, but until it's something that it means to you, so we understand that I, I'm obligated to, to help other people. Until I understand that safety is more than just this eight-hour date. 